Yeah, and and some of their in in the lawsuit, some some of Twitch's, I guess, reasons why they banned you were things like uh, what were they? I mean, basically that that you had um, violated the terms of service in a number of ways, right? Like it, like if you know, I was reading that um, there was an issue about. Um, streaming non-gaming content for more than 30 minutes. There was an issue about fraudulent subscribers. There was an issue about um, about like uh, being uh, being not being forthright about your ownership or, or alleged ownership of this company CSGO Shuffle, right? This website that is, I think, you know, we can definitely, we can all see what's going on in the comments there, right? Um, in, the, in the stream comments that, you know, there are, there are people that, that think that you are an owner of this company. Um, but, um, we can, I, I mean, we, we might as well just get into that. I mean, that was one of the, the main allegations that they had against you. And this is, this is what I meant earlier when I said that there's a, there's a court of public opinion and a court of law. And in this case, um, this was an issue that is in the court of public opinion that was actually tried and put in front of a jury and a jury made determinations based off of evidence. Right. Um, so, so they alleged that you had undisclosed uh, financial interest in this this uh, website CS:GO Shuffle, um, and then that you used it to rig jackpots in your favor against users that you had gained from Twitch, and that you operated in contravention of the terms of the underlying game's publisher and potentially in violation of the law. So. One thing that happens, let me just kind of set the, the stage here for, for all of the viewers out there, that when there is a, a material issue in a case, and then that case goes to the point of discovery. Mm -hmm. Discovery is the process of gaining evidence from the other side, where both sides just, they're able to request all kinds of information. And you know this is when you have depositions, this is when you produce documents, this is when you respond to written questions. And um, so when, the other side requests information from you that otherwise might be insanely private, but it's kind of necessary in order to prove the truth or falsity of a claim. They're able to request all of that, all of that up to whatever is really necessary or likely to lead to nest, you know, to, to information that would be that would be helpful in the case. So in this case, I know I was watching your your live stream last week, James, that you were talking about this that that they were that Twitch had requested from you um, through the, the process of this lawsuit. They requested all of your what? I mean, you might as well. Why don't, why don't you tell yeah, everybody? Yeah, sure. I mean, it, just, to, just to be straightforward, they uh, requested a blanket of things, and I gave over everything. I mean, uh, all of my bank records uh, from 2012 to I think 2020, um, my tax returns, you know, all of that stuff. Um, they also requested uh, conversations that I had from, you know, companies like uh, Gmail, Google, Skype, I think Discord and other things. And I gave them permission to get that stuff. So, I mean, I literally gave over everything that I have uh, or, or had or have still, I guess, um, to, to take a look at. And that's something that you have to do in discovery. Yeah. So, so all of your, all of your bank records, all your tax documents, your tax returns and all of that, they had pretty much everything that they were able to dig through and try to find some evidence to, to back up this claim that you had this undisclosed ownership of this website. And I guess I, I, I just realized I didn't really explain what CSGO shuffle is um, for people that don't know, maybe James, you can, you can explain what, what, C, what CSGO is and what CSGO shuffle is or was, or I don't know if it still exists. I, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not familiar. It's, it's a little complicated, but I'll, I'll be kind of brief on it. Mm -hmm. uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive is, is the name of a game. It's a video game that's owned by Valve. Uh, it's on the Steam uh, a platform, uh, and CSGO is short for it. Uh, inside this game, there was an ecosystem for uh, digital virtual skins. So it was a first-person shooter where you have guns, and you could have a, uh, a gun that had a different color, and that would be called a skin. And these skins would have value attached to them based on the a marketplace inside of this game. So, um, I mean, it was immensely popular. Every single streamer that you can think of did it at one point. Um, and during this during this time, you're able to trade skins to other players 
Well, uh, people kind of figured out you can make these websites where you have these different gambling games, game modes that could uh, essentially offer a game or, you know, a, a game mode. And these players can put their skins into, say, like a pot, for example, and one person can win. And then the site would take, you know, a cut. And that kind of blew up in 2015 to 2016. Um, and then I think it progressed in 2017 onwards uh, until uh, – it kind of slowed down and stopped, and now it's progressed over to casino games. But that's the gist of it. Uh, okay. And CSP Shuffle, sorry to elaborate on that, was one of those websites. Okay, so so the there there, there seem to be two basic allegations here that they had against you, and that it seems to sort of come up on social media and comments and stuff um, from people that are that seem to be very angry. Um, that there was uh, the first kind of allegation there is that you you had some sort of ownership interest in CSGO Shuffle that you didn't disclose to them. Um, so they were able to get evidence to prove or disprove that, right? Correct. So like uh, during trial, I gave over all, you know, evidence that they requested. I think there's, they're called RFAs or something like that, or request for admissions or stuff like that. Um, you know, and you have to tell them. And during this time, I, you know, I showed and I proved that I don't own any part of Shuffle and I never did. Um, you know, it goes from having access to the back end, to owning the domain, to owning any of the accounts, uh, to owning the, you know, uh, financials, all that stuff I had no ownership of. Okay. And then the other, the other um, allegation was that you had rigged jackpots on, on that website because it was kind of a, like a gambling sort of site is, is sort of how you described it. They said that you were rigging jackpots and otherwise manipulating the gambling outcomes on CSGO Shuffle. Um, and that's, that's I think, a, another thing that's sort of come up in comments on Twitter and that kind of thing. Yeah, so, so I can elaborate so on that as well. Yeah, 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 what was the evidence on that? So yeah, there's, there's um, of course, that was brought up and discussed too. And uh, there's a document that I have, which I'm going to be going a little bit more into detail on my YouTube channel on this further. Uh, there's a profit loss and data sheet that goes over every single user that ever played on CSGO Shuffle. Um, and the statistics behind that. And uh, if you combine the two accounts that I played on, I actually was negative 91,000 um, in, in total uh, as a profit uh, and loss. And looking at my numbers, there was 100,000 rounds that happened on the site. I only participated in 4,530 of those rounds. I won 1,746 of those rounds, which means overall I entered into less than 4.5% of all the rounds that ever happened on the site. So the allegations are sort of straight up not true. Okay, so so between that and then the the bank records that they were looking for, sort of evidence of your financial interest in CS:GO Shuffle, right? Is that what they were what they were looking for with those with those records? Yeah, there. I mean, anything and everything. Again, I turned over that I have uh, for them to go through and, and to sort of uh, prove. And again, there was there's nothing for that. So, okay. you know, whatever they asked for, I, I did essentially. So. So basically, I mean that that to to me personally, I mean I I always try to be as as you know unbiased in all of these videos on this channel as possible, as middle of the road and whatnot, and um, yeah. Uh, but to me, I mean that sounds pretty convincing because the fact that they're able to request literally everything, and you, I mean, barring you know except for some legal objections that you can make, um, you pretty much have to give over everything that you have. And if they couldn't find anything for those, I mean that that to me personally, as as a as another attorney that has no skin in the game, that sounds to me like pretty convincing. And I'll tell you one other thing which I thought was interesting is all these videos that they later claim, you know, James had violated the rules. Twitch didn't have any of those. They didn't save any of them. Yes. So the, the, record, the videos they had to get that they played, they had to go to YouTube and get them from other people who had taken some of James's videos because they thought they were funny or something and put them on their own YouTube channel. I mean, so you would think if this was so, you know, egregious that you would save that. And they Especially didn't even have James's signature on the terms of service or any of that, which they thought he was bound by. The only signature they had was the contract. Wow. So we have, we have another super chat that I'll, I'll bring up here. So Scott Romero, thank you for your super chat. So we have, can we just have, can we just, Answer yes or no, Phantom Lord. I love you, bro. But did you have ever have a part in rigging the percent of outcome, regardless of the ninety-one k win loss? 
So we kind of touched on that earlier. I mean, obviously no. Uh, and that's what the, the math kind of proves that. It, that's the documents that I turned over show that that's not the case. And even with my conversations, I agreed for Twitch to have. I mean, they gave them everything. So, uh, and you know, that was all discussed at trial. Yeah, and and the so jury, the, the jury answer, looked at no, all that. right, James. Yes, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> unequivocally no. And yes, and, I think that's again, what Scott's looking for. No. Yeah, and 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 again, you know, this was this was an actual jury of twelve people, right? That that looked at this and looked at all the evidence. Sixteen, and then we let we lost one. And then we let three go that were alternates. We picked out of a, I don't know if it was a hat or a wheel or something to figure out what people would be let go and what would deliberate.